Yes, so this is uh, something we're trying to do. It is, uh, and we advise everybody else doing so, at following suit as well. That is, uh-huh. always wear a uh, protective face mask when you're out and about. And uh, for us, because we're doing a live show and we need to speak to the mic, we're hey. wearing these really thin uh, surgical, surgical masks. masks. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this is... Uh, it doesn't prevent us from getting the uh, voice out loud and clear. But it helps prevent the droplets if we were to create anything while speaking in an enclosed studio. And that's just a given kind of thing. Because when you're speaking, yeah, there are going to be some droplets that are <laughs> going to just come out of uh, come out of here. So basically, you know, we're protecting ourselves as well as protecting others. And um, we advise everybody to wear that face mask when you're out and about. And good as always to have you, our dear listeners, with us. We have some fascinating topics for discussion today and every day on today's program. In this extended spring festival holiday, people are advised to stay at home to avoid the new coronavirus outbreak. Well, how does staying at home affect the economy and our lives? Also, we will discuss um, a survey found that the overwhelming majority of young people believe that they should shoulder the responsibility of improving the world, but they feel that they lack tools in doing so. How can people or young people be equipped with the necessary toolkit to face the challenges in the future? You can find us on Apple Podcast at Roundtable China. Subscribe, rate, and review us. You can also send us an email or a voice question to EZFMRoundtable at foxmail.com. As we have a special segment devoted to answering your voice questions on the live show so to participate to let us know what's on your mind and all that please send in that voice memo we would appreciate it greatly but first on today's roundtable china has been taking strict preventative measures to reduce the migration of large crowds of people in an effort to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus. Since the beginning of China's Lunar New Year holiday, shopping malls, restaurants, cinemas, and tourist sites, where people usually gather together, have been stripped of their customers as people decide to stay in to avoid the virus. So, well, this New Year's holiday and extended this holiday period has been a special one. Um, what is the current situation? Well, according to the nation's top economic regulator, the ongoing coronavirus outbreak will have temporary limited economic effects, but it won't leave a permanent mark on the Chinese economy due to the country's strong economic fundamentals. And this is according to uh, Lian Weiliang, who is deputy head of the National Development and Reform Commission, and, and he said introduced. He said that in comparison with the 2002-2003 SARS epidemic, China's economic strength, material and goods accumulation, and ability to cope with emergencies are significantly stronger than the than that period. And the spread of the virus has sparked concerns among Chinese investors and sent China's Asia market tumbling on Monday. That's the first trading day after the extended Lunar New Year holiday. And despite the market plunge on Monday, a net total of nearly 18.2 billion yuan, or some 2.6 billion US dollars in foreign capital, flowed into the Asia market via stock connects between the mainland and Hong Kong bourse. The second highest account uh, amount in history, pointing to global investors' confidence in the long-term prospects of the Chinese economy. And here we have the latest, actually, uh, that uh, market uh, plunge in, uh, on Monday actually was followed by rebounds in the Asia market on Tuesday and Wednesday. And also, I think Kongyaban, I, I, if I remember it correctly, is China's board, uh, a board within the uh, uh, stock exchange. They actually, uh, they have all but recovered the losses on Monday. So, uh, I, it's safe to say that maybe uh, investors are picking up their confidence in, in, in China's um, uh, uh, stock market. Yeah, well, the stock market is uh, uh, 
different from the real economy. I think also that is a point to be taken here. That is, you know, there's that uh, popular saying, uh, Wall Street is not the Main Street. So, I, but it is an indicator of confidence in how investors see the near future, that kind of thing. And uh, recently, also the national government, especially the financial authorities and regulators have been rolling out policies to restore uh, confidence and also some of these policies have had a relatively immediate effect as we can see that the shares rebounded uh, today. So aside from the stock market, um, there are some sectors that are definitely going to be uh, influenced by the outbreak of the new coronavirus and um, at least three of them are going to are, are sort of feeling the heat right now one being the service sector and followed by the manufacturing sector and trade sector well, I mean